Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you an exciting app, one that's been out for quite some time now, but I haven't actually blogged about it, um, but I've decided that it's it's way too good not to be shared, uh, and probably one that I've sort of undervalued um, in the past. However, it's been really well received in the Connected PE workshops that we've been doing at the moment, um, and I thought it's worth sharing it with with the rest of you all. So the app is called Frap Tap, or I guess I guess that's how you might say it. Um, as you can see here. Anyway, what the app lets you do is it lets you tag videos. Now, if you think of tagging very much like bookmarking, um, basically you can play a video and you can highlight particular things of interest that you would like to sort of showcase um, to your group or to your, your sports team or whatever. What it means is you'll be able to produce essentially like a highlight package of that particular um, set of video and this could be sports related video, it could be um, pretty much anything where you wanted to pick out specific points in the video that were of interest. Um, now obviously previously you would have to you would have to do some editing and you have to put it all in and you'd have to find the, and the um, obvious points but this is really really easy to do. So the first thing you need to do is record your footage. Now you don't have to you don't record the footage in the app. You, just, you basically record it. Um, in the standard camera app. So you will record for as long as you possibly um, desire. And in the top right here, um, we open the app up and we can go about opening a movie from our photo library. Now I've brought one in here. It's an AFL grand final. And <clears throat> what we can then do is we can play it. And when we see something of interest, for example, the player just kicked the ball then. All I do is tap the screen and I can enter in the title of whatever it is. So I can say a kick occurred and I can say, all right, one second before the tap and two seconds after. Press save. Now I continue this process again. When I see another kick, I'll tap it again. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm starting to produce this highlight package of just the kicks. Now, you remember I made it one second before the tap. Let's see if I can find another kick. Okay, there's another kick. This time it, it was the opposition, so I might even say that. Opposition. And I'll press save. I can continue on. Brilliant tackle. I'm going to mark that in there as well. Now, if you can imagine that I continue doing this process for the entire recorded duration, I can be identifying all sorts of particular things here of interest. They may not even be skills. They could be moments where the play has, um, you know, there's been good sort of game-related tactical um, activities. Okay. When we're happy, we can we can pause it, and then if we click the taps button up here, we can see when all those events occurred. So if I um, that that first kick that we that we identified, if I tap that, there it is. Okay, and it just plays that particular thing that I was interested in. If I say, all right, um, let's have a look at the kick from the opposition this time. There it is. And finally, the other event that we ta we tag was the tackle. If I click that, there it is. Obviously, you can see the play all button there. And if we click that, it'll play all of these tagged events in succession. So as a, as a coach, if I press play all, I can see just the things I'm interested in. So there we are. That's really easy to do, as you'd probably agree. Um, really easy to sort of tag video, identify things of interest, and um, make reference to things that you might be able to use for teachable moments. In a PE context, this could be, rather than tapping to identify a skill, maybe you're tapping whenever a certain person gets possession of the ball. So, you know, if little John gets the ball, tap the screen, and then you can get a basic breakdown and a highlight package of just John's possessions. 
And the really cool thing is once you've once you're really happy with what you've done tag wise, if you press the button again, you can save the clips to photos. Now what it will do is allow you to save all of the clips or the selected clips only. Now, the selected clips, whoops, whoops, um, save clips. The selected clips will be the ones that you've chosen um, and they have a number beside. So that way you can actually just get particular clips of people or you can do all the clips. So if I press save now, it's exporting them all, copying them to. Um, the movie roll, and if I go back into my movie roll app, you will see <clears throat> that it's just saved that particular clip. Now that was just one clip that we did um, just then. So pretty awesome, pretty awesome app. I must admit, it's, it's fantastic. You can use it to you know in a million different ways um, to sort of create these learning um, and teachable moments. You know, imagine having an injured student film your class activity um, during one period and then you go away and you tag particular things that you were trying to get across um, in that session and then the start of the next session you can go through it and you can identify um, things of interest that you can use for your, um, for your teachable instructions and so on. So brilliant app, definitely worth checking out. Um, I'm not sure why I haven't showed you it um, <laughs> already. Um, but I definitely recommend going and exploring it and seeing how you might be able to use it in your program. Thank you.